Greetings everyone. Welcome to today's session on UI design. In this video, we will delve into the process of creating responsive breakpoints within Figma, harnessing the power of variables and modes. Here you can see that when I remove the rectangle from mobile to tablet and even to desktop, the dimensions of the rectangle changes in each breakpoint. Please, if you are new to the channel, like, share and subscribe. Let's get started. Select the frame tool and create three distinct frames for each breakpoint. A desktop, a tablet and a mobile frame. But you can choose any frame of your choice. Next, it's important to rename the frames. From the Properties panel, select Local Variables and click on Create Variable. Since we are creating a breakpoint, let's select a number. This means that we are creating a variable that can only store numbers. Go ahead and rename the variable label. I will call it responsive width. Let's create another variable and call it responsive height. While we have the local variable panel opened, select the plus button at the top right corner to add three variable modes. These modes store values for each breakpoint. Rename the modes to the frame names we created earlier. Now let's assign some figures to the various modes. These are the dimensions for each frame when we resize. Select the rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle. The size doesn't matter. Place a rectangle inside the desktop frame. With the rectangle selected, set the rectangle width to our responsive width variable and also set the height to the responsive height variable. Notice that when we create a duplicate of the rectangle and place it inside the tablet frame, the dimensions don't change. Let's fix that. First, select the parent desktop frame and from the properties panel, change the variable mode to desktop. And make sure the rectangle inside the frame's variable mode is set to auto. Select the parent tablet frame and from the properties panel, change the variable mode to tablet. Repeat the same procedure for the mobile frame. 
Make sure the rectangles inside the frame variable modes are set to auto. Ultimately, as we duplicate the rectangle and transfer it into each frame, you will observe that the dimensions dynamically adapt to the specifications of each frame. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all our future contents. See you in the next one. Bye.